Looking back on how much I drew guns as an elementary school kid, I'm really surprised my teachers were sensible enough to understand I just had a natural fascination with them. I hadn't learned about the joys of sex yet, so violence was the only id-based thing I thought about. I drew guns everywhere I could. On the back of tests, in art class, on chalkboards, dry erase, everything. My favorite place to draw guns was on the windows of cars during winter. The idea of my life, my, my heat creating art, was fascinating. As fascinating as guns. I'd be in the car with my dad at the parking lot to the sack and save, waiting for my mom to be done grocery shopping, which took hours! And my dad would be changing the radio station, so I got a, a well-rounded taste in music, and I'd crudely draw guns over the ice-covered windows in the back seat. The proportion of the handle to barrel always gave me trouble, and I'd go crazy on the design for the slide, giving the pistol as many angles as possible. The final touch was always the cross-hatching on the pistol grip. One time, mid-drawing, my dad got antsy waiting for my mom, as antsy as I got, and got out of the green 96 Honda for a smoke. I got into the front seat as my dad's lighter flickered. The flame was all I could see from the ice-covered windows. I started drawing on the windshield. I finished a drawing of the PPK and a cross-section of the PPK where you could see the bullets and springs and stuff. I reminisce on how off that gun must have been design-wise. I saw my dad's lighter flick again. Curious about the lighter, I opened the glove box to see if he stored a lighter in there. There was a pistol. I closed the glove box and got back into the back seat. 